Hey folks, Lisa here from Call That Girl. I'm doing a video called something, I don't know yet, but it's a little end of business, little review of the jobs I get every day. I'm starting to get a lot of people on YouTube calling and I thought, you know what? If I just do a little tiny piece every day on what's going on with my world, maybe people understand what it's like to be an Outlook expert because I get calls that are crazy. First appointment I had today, I had to work on an indexing issue with Outlook. And indexing can break for a lot of reasons, and a lot of people, they notice it when they're trying to search, and their search doesn't work. And they're like, I know it's there, because I can go find it in a folder, but when they're using the search, it doesn't work. So I generally have a, like a little three-step thing I do. A lot of technicians don't know about it, um, the, the three steps I do anyway, to successfully fix searching and indexing. Uh, there's standard stuff, but sometimes I need to talk to you and work with you. So if you're having a problem with indexing, I'm your gal. Another client today was on a Microsoft Exchange account, and what they wanted to do was create uh, some group contact lists. Now, these are pretty easy to do if you're on Exchange. You just go click the... Oh, let me go look real quick so I make sure I say it right. It's um, called um, New Contact Group, which is kind of similar to distribution lists on the old exchange, but this is the new one. And basically, if you're on exchange, you can create a group and they add the members and then you can email them uh, from your Outlook uh, in an email in the two line. You can also right click on contacts and create a new folder. And this is a little tip I've been training people on exchange to do, because if you create a folder in the contacts, not a group, those actually show up on your iPhone. And you can have people put in that group and you can email those groups, but you gotta make a distribution list in that group. <laughs> Does that make sense? Well, a lot of people used to use categories and, you know, categories have their purpose, but if you're going to be doing a lot of emailing, you definitely want to use the contacts list and the groups. And then today I helped somebody set up a Dropbox account. They happened to have five uh, laptops or five computers in the company, and they just wanted to share between their, um, their partner and themselves. So we set them up on Dropbox and that I do too, those little jobs. I have another client that I scheduled for tomorrow, which I'll fill in the, the results of that job. He's got 2010 Outlook. He's got four IMAPT accounts, and the data file is now kidnapping emails. And in Outlook 2010, there is a data file created, but with 2013, it actually has its own OST file, and that's where I told him, let's upgrade you, and then let's rework your IMAP to be set up the way Outlook wants it and that should fix his problem. So technically, I do those jobs all the time for people, and it's you know too quick to make a how-to video because everybody has different IMAP accounts on different things. They all need to be set up their own way. And then I had a client that uh, said, hey, I've got 18 email accounts. I need help. There's a big mess. And I said, I'll take the challenge. I'll do it. I don't even know exactly what's going on, but uh, normally when clients call in for a consult, I listen to their problems. I know if I can fix it or not. I tell them my rates, which are 139 an hour, 89 for 30 minutes, very affordable to get an Outlook expert. And, um, you know, I used to quote people. If it's really sticky and it sounds like a big job, I do not have a problem saying one to four hours. And if you haven't had an Outlook surgery done before, one to four hours to get a lot of things fixed is sometimes how it has to be. But after that, things should work better. And then I scheduled myself a nice little Office 365 consult with a company. And they're kind of big, so this will be a nice job, I think. And then I have one final client that uh, has a mix of Outlook, iPhones, Gmail calendaring, probably every single application you can think of all messed up. And I'm going to rework her computer starting tomorrow and uh, those appointments I usually say are going to be two to four excuse me at least two hours to do a full rework and then maybe up to four but as long as you're you know telling folks what to expect they will usually book it and I hope you do that's it that's my quick updates for the day end of business today is May 24th if you're looking for Outlook help you can call me at 612-865-4475 Email me, lisa at callthatgirl.biz. If you like this video, check out the other videos. And like, share, and subscribe. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.